Hello everybody, I'm Peter Gob, and today I'm giving you my top 10 worst LEGO Ninjago sets. Now, first thing, this entire list is all my opinion, so if you disagree, I will respect your decision and may or may not agree with it, that, and would like to be a, to be tell which I, for your, in your, for you the worst LEGO Ninjago set. Also, Lego Ninjago has like a ton of sets, like probably one of the most amount of sets every theme has. Probably City Lego City, I'm pretty sure is the only one that has more than Lego Ninjago. B but still, this is. But still, so some of these sets are probably which you don't like, like missed, and. Like I already said, I would like to know which ones are for you the worst. And that's it, let's get on with this, this list. Number 10. Flying Jolly Sop. Alright, Lego Ninjago movie has great max, and I'm not denying that, but these smaller villain vehicles are just stupid. Like, look at this set. The power balance between these sets is completely the work. It's just stupid. Because the only vehicle for the good guys is the little boat and with a civilian. Then which Jane used to protect. And she apparently jump into the water. And used to fight two villains. One being a giant mac well one being a in a sop which just looks stupid and why does it have why does it seem to have two two different types of shooting materials on uh, the two together uh, on different sides instead of one there and the other one there uh, I don't know the whole oxygen take over there is very obvious of a target and Jay is incredibly underpowered also, I don't really like the whole weapons the villains have because the whole blue, bl bright blue fish and something stick out of that just looks stupid to me. I mean, the only reason it's not the worst is because it's kind of a forgettable set. I mean, there's nothing really that special about it. N now, to the next one. Number 9. Katana V11. Pretty much everyone agrees that Lego Ninja Sons of Gramadan is one of the worst waves, if not the worst. But. Well, this one is just the worst for me. And you're asking why? Well, it's just stupid beyond stupidity. I mean, first thing, although Kai's vehicle on its own is not the worst. Uh, vehicles that Kai could have, and it would kind of be g good that there will be a water moon based vehicle. But here's the problem Kai had like I don't know how many sets he appeared in in the Lego Ninja movie, so giving him a solo set and can say the fact that in the next wave he gets a much better set, it's just stupid. Plus, plus. Plus, it doesn't really fit into the story in the car to to him because it's supposed to be infiltration, which would be making more sense to have Nia or Jay because their color theme, their vehicles would make more sense. And the and the bad guys so more cycle cool thing really shows why this is a terrible idea because motorcycle first uh a speedboat or a submarine really doesn't work well. I mean, everything else is pretty much good, decent. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some other things I could complain about the other ones, but uh, this was just the worst because it has the biggest problems. More than the other ones. Number 8. Garmatron. Pretty much everyone agrees this is the worst. Uh, Pretty much everyone agrees this is the worst from the final battle wave. And can you really blame them? I mean, this set is just stupid. 
I mean, Zane's vehicle is just underpowered. Gamma Tron is vehicle is severely underutilized, even though it's supposed to be like the biggest threat in the series. General Koso wields uh, Zane saw instead of his own, which to me never makes sense. It only just feels like they just didn't didn't, didn't want to have Zane Willian in the box because it would look worse. But anyways, the design of the Galatron is also a very bad design. And the only point for the extra stone soldier is just for the army build. Nothing else. And it just looks stupid. Number 7 Venomai Shrine Alright, let's look at this. We get one minute figure in this entire set. And even though this is supposed to be a half of a battle pack. Like seriously, this is supposed to be I think a $6 set. But it feels like it should be like $4. Even if it does have more pieces, it's supposed to be for $4. I mean, for God's sakes. I mean, you get only one minifigure, and that's Zane, which is good. You get a cheap way to get Zane. But still. Still, why is there no other minifigure on this list? I mean, it doesn't need to be a general. It could just be some other Venomari Shrine member. I mean, it could be used as a, an army builder, except these two snakes, which only one of them is attacking. Oh, and one of the second because of the play fixture. Well, guess what? That doesn't really work that well. And the stuff is alright, but it's just really the fact that we just get the Shrine and Zay. It should get at least one more minifigure. And not just these two. I mean, for God's sakes. It's just, I mean, how are snakes a challenge for Zane? That would be a no challenge f for even before the Ninja training. It's just stupid. Number 6 Ronan's Rex uh, I'm pretty sure this one is either the worst or the second worst when it comes to these sets for people So so let's just say what I complain about For starters, that ghost dragon, even though it looks nice It doesn't make sense to have it The whole globby thing over there also doesn't work because it uh, a bad has a weapon, even though these globs shouldn't even have weapons and don't even appear in the series. The whole spin, the whole air jitsu flyer thing, of me just saying, I we know people aren't going to buy these flyers, but we are going to put them in boxes, so even though they are here for Roland's racks, they will have a flyer. Well, guess what? People can just take them for them in garbage, which is where these flyers belong. Seriously, after those, those blade blades or whatever they're called, this fly just got weird and pathetic. And all for the crumb de la crumb of the suckiness of this set, Ronan's racks. My God, this that bear looks stupid and ugly and ah. I mean, what's up with some Lego sets just be a bunch of garbage put together? Hell, I wouldn't be shocked if that is actually the case with this flyer. Just a bunch of garbage in our improvements. Which also, I kind of have a hard time seeing this build fans flying. I mean, these other flying vehicles, at least can be believed they can fly. But this one just cannot be believed they can fly. And Ronan, I don't think Ron even has anything to cover his mouth. And as if you mean that gag that he had, but that's a gag for God's sakes. So, so I don't believe he actually has a scarf. Or if he does have a scarf, he didn't use it in the this season. Maybe the next one, but not this one. And why don't you just have his hair with the whole thing and not just the hat? Because I don't even think he uses the cap that much. I actually think he uses it in the next season. Than in this one, so yeah, it's stupid. So yeah, the main building is trash. The there's one incredible inaccuracy. One that just feels like just there, so people will have have it. And a bag that's completely ridiculous. Number five. Pyrana attack. 
Oh boy, this is just stupid. Alright, the villain's vehicle, the piranha, is just underpowered. It is more like a weapon someone someone would use it like would use in a in a show that's supposed to be Kamina here fight like that fast little montage of evil vehicles just blowing up so how many times they fail this is how this vehicle feels like to me just to be those montages where people go there and try to fight and then just blows up immediately we get another Kai which is he appears like in almost every in almost every set of this in Lego Jungle movie, even though his character wasn't that you realize. The Iron Maiden or the Iron Dragon or the Iron Lady or whatever Coco's hero name is is it is it doesn't appear outside of a flashback. And honestly it would it would be better if they didn't even have this whole hair piece until her room in the next wave. So it doesn't make sense. I mean maybe the armor piece is actually actually uh, new but I don't know exactly remember. But still. And the best part of this is just the civilian whole thing because it does make sense to have it. I mean it's supposed to be a power attack so it would make sense that there would be something to attack. And the whole Oh, missiles are actually good things to have to shoot out of it. I mean, it's just a very really weak set, to be honest. But uh, that's it for this set. Number four. Cole's Dragon. I don't think this set actually appears in the series at all. Except if you mean that a tournament of elements, but that's a very weak way, way to have Koge his elemental dragon. And why isn't Koge a ghost? I mean, this is supposed to be a part of the Sky Pirates uh, saga, and yet, yet he's a, still human? I mean, does Koge just appear as a ghost in one or two sets? He should be a lot more as uh, a ghost the character appearing. And the villain, although the dragon is an incredibly terrible build, it's still a dragon against one measly pirate. I mean, this is supposed to be like just a comedic, the, the more important bad guy in the other ones. So it doesn't really make sense to have it in. It's just a stupid set. Number three. Ninja Bike Chase. Pretty much everyone agrees this is the worst double bike set. And uh, not much how, how useless it is. And I actually believe this one is the one that started the line of having two bikes chasing each other. Which is just... Which is basically we can play this set for everything. I mean I know there was a previous set that had two bikes in but this was pretty much on the start. No, not only because of that. Also is the fact that these two bikes look practically the same. I mean there are, so, about, there are changes that make it look like someone would like say it's completely the, the same. But it just looks incredibly the same. I mean it's clear they just use the same mold. They just added stuff that will make Nias look different in Kai's. Oh both of these two don't get their armors and they feel like they should have their Solo pads or something they have. Then you get how inaccurate this set is. Like this could be a, a way, way to have Ronan be is hunting them like Ronan's hunt or something and Ronan being in a flyer and he hunting the two down which would be better and we would get another Ronan set and get him in another set except the next one. Oh, they have the pilots. But still. Why didn't they have him in? I mean, they should have him instead of this more comedic bad pirate. It just looks stupid. Also, they should seriously have the, something to put the sword the Kai has instead of just having him fly around. I mean, Nias makes sense, but Kai doesn't make any sense. Number 2. 
only Titan. Pretty much everyone agrees this is the worst set, so let's just say why is it so horrible for me. For starters, only out of the four minifigures, the only difference between two that appear in a previous and a much cheaper and a much better set are, are the fact that Nia has hair instead of her hoodie and Lori has hoodie and something else on her back which so far they didn't make an appearance in the cut. Doom, but I'm pretty sure it could have appeared in later. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's just three episodes still to be seen, or maybe two. But still, it's just stupid. Lord Gammon against this stupid weapon. It's like, seriously, why couldn't it just be some kind of an energy thing, like manipulating it? And the only Titan just. Ugh. Or the rat. Purple is supposed to be a lot more strong, and those blue bits should also should be purple. The tree is a good touch and marker to the show, and, and the, those two weapons are just ridiculous because these giants should have weapons, and that's if it's going to be a part of their body. And ah, it's just so stupid. I mean, it's a bit accurate to the show because that's a good thing. But it just looks stupid and ridiculous and oh, it just looks so bad. And now to the worst. Number one worst set in my opinion is... Ice Tank. Ugh, just look at this thing. It looks like a squid more than a tank. And they add weapon just on one side. And you get two villains who's... Honestly, seem to have worst weapons of them all. You get two citizens, and it just looks stupid. I mean, they it feels like when they were keeping up with this, they were like Kai, a giant fire mac that can shoot fire. Core, a giant mac with one wheel and DJ. Uh, J. J DJ, Nia, a spider-like machine that can move on water. Jay, an awesome plane. Lloyd, a dragon. And Zane, let's grab a squid. Let's use a squid design and put it on tire tracks to make it look like like it's a and let's call it ti a tank, even though it has only one missile and that's in one side. Make it completely useless if you really come to think about it. This is definitely the worst set. It just makes no s It's just stupid, makes no sense, it looks ugly, and it just looks so weak compared to the other sets. I mean, you're, the best part about this set is the piranha nah, helmet that that guy wears. That's seriously the best part of this entire set. Even the series that's don't really... It, it stand out that much amongst the others. So why the fuck do they even have this pathetic piece of trash? No, anyways. I hope you like this video. I hope you gotta leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And that's it. I cannot wait to see all people next time. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Oh, hi, Miss President. How may I help you today? Oh, you can help me with a video. Oh, you're gonna be coming YouTube as well? Fine, I thought you're going to the no no no. I want you to make a video. Do you about a topic I think we both know which is Top the bounty hunters because you're gonna hire bounty hunters to kill me? Now why Mr. Kill Mr. E from Lego Ninja was a complete bullshit and they should and what the hell were they thinking? No Uh kidnap Jero and Fucker? No now bring your joy, and I want you to to bring your pain. No. Oh, then what? St review. Steven Universe, Heart of the Crystal Gems. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You want me to review that piece of shit? Yes, you will. I mean, you know that that piece of shit is like total garbage, correct, right? I mean, you know that if garbage have a child, 
and then that garbage would have a child, you know, and then all three garbages would combine, and then, and then a giant garbage came, ate that, and then put that out as a, ch and then throw that out of it, that would be at least half as bad how, how that is, right? I know it's garbage, that's why you're going to review it. Do I even have a choice? No. Oh, I don't read that piece of trash. But you, Crystal, and Crystal, and Talia, well, help me. And we are going to have images. We are going to go into that, the world where I can what cause misery to people. All right. All right, but you're going to feel misery as well. I know it's going to feel almost. All right, now shut up and get ready. Because we are going to be reviewing Steven Universe Heart of the Crystal Gems. Yay.